What it do, YouTube? And I'm back with another video. And today we'll be doing another No Money Spent video. It's been a minute since I said the intro. And before I get into the No Money Spent episode, I have some reasons, valuable reasons, to list off why it's been a minute since I posted, a minute since I record, or just been on this game. Number one, I have been really sick. I took the second batch of a COVID vaccine last week and i just had a bad reaction to it i felt sick my, I, my body felt weak i had a bad headache and i just didn't feel like doing anything and it really knocked me out of my rhythm when it comes to making content uh two i had a monitor i got a new monitor for my setup and that took me like a day to set up and it really pissed me off i couldn't like figure it out and then number three i just felt really unmotivated to play this game i didn't prioritize playing or making content during this like past two weeks i just stopped playing it i got bored and yeah that's what really that's what's that's like the cause of this long break but i'm back let me start making content and i basically have, have got to this point where i've caught up with everything that i missed and yeah and i'm ready to record this video so first thing first as you see in my lineup screen the warner franco has been out for i don't even know how long but I have two days left, or like three to two days left to get him a debut video, which will be out soon. And he's a really good card. Um, yeah, as let me go show him for y'all. If y'all haven't seen already, Warner Franco, he looks fantastic. I mean, I'm already in parallel one. So I'm already in parallel five. You can't sell the card from moments, but you could buy the card. But yeah, he looks fantastic. Switching shortstop. Um, if you get on the parallel three, you'll be a dime field. Anyway, the only thing, the only thing that's really bad about this card, it's limited. So this card will be gone in June 29th. But hey, man, this card looks pretty cool, and he is fun to use. He's fun to use. But other than that, it's really just the same God Squad. No one really game changing. No one free I can just attain. There's been new cards that added like rewards, rewards, BR rewards. But I just been rocking with the same God Squad. Almost all of them are parallel 5 now. Jackie is literally so close to being parallel 4. It's literally an at bat. An at bat, and this guy will be parallel 5. Parallel 4. And then, I want to start on a guy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, bro. If I got another good card comes out, ooh, that's free. I'm just gonna replace with Lonzo because this card's really gonna fucking piss me off. Uh, yeah. But other than that, almost everybody's at a parallel 5. Chipper is like. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of grind, but almost everybody's at parallel four, and I've been using the cap out the plate because I think there's not a lot of good catchers in the game. And then pitching wise, uh, yeah, I got the new Zach Britton from doing the daily moments. So yeah, I got the June daily moment, which is all I really care about at this point. I might get that ball to half pack after him, but Zach Britton, he looks he looks really really good. The only thing bad about him is his really his pitch mix. He's a sinker slider fastball. I wish he had a change up instead of that two seamer, but. Hey man, he's a free lefty. I, I'll take it. But other than that, there's really nothing been changed by the line. I just got a few more parallels in there. Uh, 13 program, we did max that out. Everything, we, we got the everything. Um, yeah, and looking at future of um, the show 21, it's really the fourth inning program. Fourth inning program will come out July 1st. <laughs> Thursday, so yeah. That three new bosses will come out also July Daily Moments and also a new event on the 29th. But yeah, that's really the future. And then other than that, I mean, new World Series rewards and BR rewards came out. Uh, this is really, I'm recording so late, but I mean, Vita Blue came out. He's uh, the first 99 overall starting pitcher in the game. And he looks pretty good. Nice hits in case for nine. Not the greatest pitch mix though. Wish he had a sinker, but hey man, he's going for nice stubs. And David Justice is a card. I actually, he looks really interesting. He's a really good bat. He's a lefty too, but not the greatest fielder. So if I want to replace Alonzo, he's kind of the guy because he might have a better bat and better swing than him. But man, I got him in World Series. And last season, I had a terrible time in World Series. I haven't played a game since like the Kyle Seager debut, which I recorded like two weeks ago. So yeah, and then BR, I fell in the back. I was at 70 points with eight hours left, and the servers just tight, decided to take a massive shit. So yeah, doing this last minute is not the really greatest idea. But now there's new BR rewards. Got James Paxson, who looks really good. My bad, but he looks fantastic. 
I mean, fastball can't, can't, can't speak. And I'm back. It can't speak. Cutter, sinker, change up. He's really, really good. And also, Jar Carl Stanton, who is a really good bench player against the lefties. That's really all I see his value because contact was right in Hall of Fame. Made this card really unusable because there's a lot of good pitchers in this game with really good hits in case for nine. And with that contact was right, that's going to affect him a lot. And then you saw the rewards of Al Lider and Trevor Story. And you got like Matt Harvey here, who is just not that good, but hey man, it's Matt Harvey. He deserves some love after what happened to him. And then here's some new golds here. I think the most the best one here is Brad Brock out of the four. And then some new silvers, which is this classic Chris Sales back from 19. One of my favorite cards using BR. And also Ryan O'Hearn, the guy versus righty, so we already know that. But yeah, that's really it for BR. Events? I haven't played an event in so long. I just stopped playing events because really, they don't have a lot of value. They have a lot of packs for sure, but I'm basically betting on if I'm going to get something good out of those packs, which 9 times out of 10, I'm not going to get out of anything good out of those packs. And the rewards, 20k, 20k, they're, they're decent, but I'd rather play BR in ranked seasons. It's not my top priorities right now. But yeah, that's really online. And then offline, Conquest, I'm caught with all the Conquest. What did I just speak? What did I just say? It's been two weeks, Ryan. You can't speak? Motherfucker, I'm an idiot. Um, <laughs> I cut caught up with all the conquests. Um, Father's Day and then the third inning one. Basically, all that is done. And then Showdown has been done. And then Moments. I caught up with Top Snow Moments. I have the daily moments locked down and basically everything else is locked down as well. Uh, Team Infinity, it's been the max style. Player programs, this Joe Carter came out when I was gone. Got this done. I think the Juan Marshall also came out. Got that done as well. And then daily moments, I have a 26 right now. I really don't care. I might want to just get this ball to high pack, which I can get. Because 27, 28, 29, 30. So yeah. Unless June ends on the 29th, which. It doesn't, so I'll get this ball to half pack, so at least that's something. I already have this, so yeah, really nothing. At least I have the car, but that that's really my progression this past like two weeks. Collections, I'm still going to be waiting for the part two of the Mariano collection, the Legends of, or the Legends of Fast Fire. Bro, hearing myself speak is like, what the fuck? I'm still waiting for part two of Legends of Flashbacks. There you go. Yeah, I'm still waiting for part two, man. Um, seeing who they will drop. I think they might drop this part two when stage three comes out of Team Infinity. But other than that, I'm just really just chilling with collections. And then with like headliners, I bought one. Andy Rizzo, who looks like a pretty good card. Nice little first baseman. He's a left handed first baseman. And he bats lefty. And he's a really good bat, nice fielding, but. He's a solid card. I'll give it to that. I give him that, dude. I can't speak. And then the marketplace right now, especially a lot of series cards. This is a really big problem. This is basically a million stubs right here. You're paying a million stubs within three cards. That's a problem right there, man. That's really, really a problem. This this shows me that no one's pulling these guys, which is fair because he's at the at the highest played. These are the best players in the game, the highest rated, but still, you gotta juice the odds a little bit. I'm not trying to... You, I mean, I'm... Can't speak. Tripper Jones got more expensive since day one. Day one, Trout was 100k. Queen was 100k. Jagram was like 150. Now, this is a million steps right here. That's insane. And Garrett Coles was 200k. Tatis is 120. Um, yeah, and then some other cards dropped in the roster update, which I forgot the roster update happened, and I took a big O. Um, this roster update, I mean, Mookie Best went down, which is good for that 85 to 89 diamond pack. Adds some value to that pack. Um, Matt Olson, yeah, Byron Buxton, Buster Posey went up to an 88, so... Uh, Cody Bellinger went down, so that brings a lot of value to or it's 85 to 89 diamond pack. 
And then players went out. Carlos Correa, who I didn't think was going to go up, but he did. And he actually has really good stats, so I get that. Uh, Zach Wheeler, I knew he was going to go up, but he was going for too much to invest. So I didn't actually think he was going to go up because he played so limited games, but respect. I don't know why Loriano went up. I honestly don't know why he went up. I don't know why. Juan Soto was almost a gold. Altuve, he went up. Okay, that's passable. Carlos Rendon, I, he's been dominating. So yeah, show you Tani. I saw this come from my way. Simeon, I, I kind of see, but still. Gatel Marte, he's been balling in real life. Sadly, the Diamondbacks suck. But here's what I took the biggest out. Jared Walsh is the guy I invested in. He got upgraded, but didn't go diamond because of contact with lefties. And look at his stats. He looks pretty. Look at those stats right there. That's really good stats right there. He didn't go diamond. That kind of sucks. Um, yeah. Then I. I only showed his need to boost his contact with lefties, which they brought down, or his vision. I think all those stats are probably against righties. I don't know. I don't look at splits at all but Jared Walsh didn't go diamond which sucks so, so much and Joe Musgrove didn't go diamond which is pretty surprising but yeah you got some new guys going to 84 Trevor Story went down to a gold and you know Souter Press had to go to 83 because he's the GOAT he's the best catcher in the game no cap but yeah that's the roster update so I still have a hundred um Jared Walsh in my inventory right now I'm just sitting on him I also seeing on random cards, some random silvers and gold cards. Um, mostly silver cards. I might go up. Um, where is it? Where, where is this the fucking? A hundred and one. I would have made five hundred thousand steps. Or I bought it for like two k. I'll make three hundred thousand steps by this man going diamond, which he only had to do once. But I think the problem with him investing in him is he needs to do good against lefties. If he does good against lefties, he's only diamond and he's a good investment. But right now he's not. And he's his first oh he's first against lefties. Like come on. I mean he reminds me of Jesse Winker. I don't know how he's gonna get upgraded, man. I honestly don't know. Might have been a bad investment, so hey man. What, what? okay, what's my PC doing? I'm just looking on the PC right now. But yeah, that's really that in the marketplace right now, other than like live series cards. Warsters Awards going pretty high. Thirteen program bosses going for forty k. So, e, um, nothing really out of the ordinary right now. Just a bunch of high diamonds. Matt Weeders jumped up in price, which is insane. Kyle Seeger didn't, but Matt Weeders did. So, interesting right there. These are from the Kitchen Sink Pack. These guys, Brian Roberts of um, Headliner. Carl Santana's a hundred k. Which is a guy I actually want really want to pull, man. And sadly, I didn't. But other than that, that's really all the cards, man. But we do have some packs here. And actually, before I open up these packs, I'm gonna let past Ryan let you know what packs I opened. And yeah, because I did open some packs before this recording, and I did get some good luck. So, past Ryan, there you go. Okay, y'all, so we got some packs here. We had uh, two balls of hat packs, some headliners here, 13 and 14. And we got a 85 to 89 live series diamond pack, which has value now. As a, there's some cards that go for 80 and 70K, like Bellinger and Mookie. So this pack is could be pretty good, but I'm gonna put these headliners first. I did pull a diamond out of my last headline. Oh my God! Wow! I want another diamond. Let's go, man. Let's see who it is, man. It might be Pedro. It's purple, so it's a live series header. Who is it? It's like Manny Machado. And it is Manny Machado right there. 85. He might go gold. Okay. That, that's a, a pull. Get 5k. Okay. So that's one diamond. Now we've got another headliner here. Let's see. I'll go back to back. No. Okay, gold. Controllers probably like a bitch. Okay, now we have two balls of hand packs. Let's see. Another gold. Okay. Guy here might go diamond though, so I might hold on to him. And then another balls of hand pack and gold. So 
E. And then we got an 85 and 89 lines for his diamond player. Please be something good here, man. Let's see. Please. Please. <gasps> Mookie bet 60k. Let's go. He's one of the most expensive 85 89 lines for his diamonds. Oh, that helped me out a lot right there. Let's go, man. So this is a successful pack. We got Machado. And we got Mookie. Why are we, why are we over 30k? Let's go, man. W's. MLB is finally blessing me. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. And now we're back to the present day. And now uh, we have some packs here. We got Tops Now pack from June 14th to June 20th. We got some equipment packs. We got a headliner set nine. Eddie Matthews. Six show packs and a ball that pack. I'm gonna open up these uh, ball player packs. I think it's from the ball player. I really don't know. I'll take these shooting equipment. I mean, really don't care. I'll take this batting glove. Okay, now I'm gonna open this headliner pack. Come on, man. I want something good. What, happened to, what is happening? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm on the phone. Okay. Um. Okay. Headline. I'm gonna get anything. <laughs> like this PC just shut off randomly. Okay. Uh, show pack. Bronze. Um. Show pack. Silver. Okay. Maybe we can get something ju juicy. Some juicy silver. Um. Ooh. John Burry, the goat. Best second baseman in the league. Um, and then we get a casual Miguel Sano. Okay, one more show pack left, and we get a casual. Let's go. Now we got a bunch of half pack, which the odds is one in fifteen, but you know what it is? It's one in a hundred to get a gold. No cap. Another gold, Luis Robert. He's not going diamond. And then we put. We basically got a bunch of casuals and the goat. Yermar Marte. Yeah. Now tops now. Um, you get three picks, so I don't know who's the best one here. Um, definitely not you. I think it's Ryan Mountcastle. I think it's Ryan Mountcastle actually has a really good swing. <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm so stumped right now. Who should I pick? I'll take a Tyron Walker. Yeah. And then I hated your moments. I'm not gonna take you. Damn, I'm so stuck. I'll just take a uh, Trevor Mail. Why not? Because these rest of these guys suck. Okay, so we got new tops now. I'm, not, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna hold on to them because I need those cards. But basically, that's it. Um, I basically caught up with everything offline. Now everything's caught up offline. I'm gonna start grinding BR. I need to grind this BR. Probably gonna get out of the way now. And then after this, I'm gonna grind rank seasons. I, I just don't want to play in Hall of Fame. I honestly don't have fun playing in Hall of Fame, especially even with my team. I don't have fun playing in Hall of Fame because I'm gonna be pacing guys like this. My rotation, besides Quinn, because Quinn, I'm not gonna lie, his smile doesn't. No one likes his smile, but except me. I love his smile. That's why he's on my team for his smile. Nothing else. And then yeah, that's really it. I mean, no one's gonna have Mo. <laughs> but yeah guys that is really you no know, me spend right now that's basically what I've been that's basically my progress check the past two weeks so yeah guys I hope you all enjoyed the video man let me know in the comments below who do you think be the fourth inning program bosses um I think last year it was I don't know but I think they're, they're gonna drop some nine nines I think it's time to drop some nine nines um, or they might just cheese with a 98, but I think it's time to drop some 99s, especially a good catcher. I want a Pudge from this pack, or potentially, maybe a go to shortstop would be good. Potentially a go to shortstop, or another go to outfielder, or another go to pitcher. But yeah, I'm gonna be back grinding, I'm gonna get back in my groove, back in my shits. That sounded cringy. Hey man, it is what it is. I'm gonna stop being a casual YouTuber and post this video. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Let me know in the comments below. Again, for the brosses, drop a like, drop a sub. If you're new, man, really help me out. I'm gonna keep around for y'all and hope y'all are entertained. Hope you have a good smile on your face for the rest of the day because that's all about life is to have a smile on your face. I'm just improving this right now and this is really cringy. But yeah, guys, uh, see y'all later.
Peace out.